All right, I think I missed my intro, but this is the first day on Virginia Beach, and I'm throwing the gotcha plug right here. Maybe blue, Spanish Mac, something. We'll see if we can get anything. Oh, please don't come off. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that was a Spanish. I flipped out. Oh man. So I switched my bait over to the epoxy jig and that's starting to trigger some pretty good bites. Got him. <laughs> it's small. Another fish on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> All right, that's two. <laughs> Second one, guys. That was a a blue fish. Something with the, they just flopping off at the end. They wanted it fast. What is that? Mackerel. Whoa, first mackerel. All right, let's see if we can get another one of those. Oh, that's eating right there. So I noticed that these mackerel were all over the surf. They were popping out of the water. So I really sped up that retrieve speed and that's what really got to the bite. I mean, look how fast that was. Got him. All right. Looks like we're on the Spanish. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Another one. Let's get him in the box. So that's two Spanish mackerel. Trying to see if I can get any more. It's getting dark now. Got him. Oh, there we go. That's a good one, guys. He's running right at me. I'm trying to keep the pressure on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's a good one, guys. Yes! Oh man, this is unbelievable, guys. That's three. It's getting dark now, but that was freaking awesome. I'm going to see if I can get a few more. If I can get any more, maybe one more, that'd be awesome. I saw some mackerel busting. I threw a few lures at them, messed around with retrieve speeds, and boom, got into them. All right, guys, so I got the mackerel right there. I'm going to start filleting those up. And if you guys like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. I'm going to take those rib bones out right here. Some people leave the skin on, but I'm going to take it off. So these mackerel have a lot of little fine bones right there, and I didn't bring any tweezers to get those out, so I'm just going to cut right down the middle there and remove those. So after I filleted this fish, I went ahead and froze it and rethawed the fish out a few days later to cook it up. I really wish I would have ate it fresh. I think it would have made a huge difference. So this is a really simple dish guys. I just made a quick salad with some orange and grapefruit segments, a ponzu citrus vinaigrette with some soy glazed mackerel. So the amounts for the dressing is gonna be in the description, but I got shallot, orange juice, ponzu, mustard, and emulsify that with some oil. And it needed a little bit of fresh lime, but that could go in the beginning.
I'm gonna rough chop some peanuts. All right, so we got everything ready for the salad. Got the mackerel right here. That's dried off with a paper towel. We got some watercress, mixed greens, the segmented orange, some roasted peanuts. These were actually deep fried. I chopped them up. The ponzu dressing. And this is uh, to deglaze with for that fish. So let's get started cooking. So I got a cast iron pan here, nice and hot with some sunflower oil. You can use any neutral oil. And I'm just gonna get a sear on all those pieces of fish first. And then I'm gonna put it back and make the sauce. Once it's nice and seared, deglaze with that orange juice right there. I'm gonna also use some soy sauce. And a little bit of sesame oil. So we're just finishing up right now, and we got some mixed reviews about this dish. Mara, what do you think about it? I thought it was really good. I love the orange, and the salad makes perfect with the fish, with the soy sauce and ponzu. I really liked it, and the combo, everything together was delicious. She thought it was good. Mara's mom. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? I thought it was delicious as well. I didn't think it tasted fishy, and I think with the fish, with the salad, the combination of you know all of the flavors made it made it taste really great. They think it was good. I thought it was all right. Something about, I don't know, we couldn't cook it right away when we were in Virginia, over in Virginia Beach, so we froze it, and then I rethought it out today and cook it cooked it up and it had just like a little bit of a fishy flavor to it so I'm gonna have to give this one another shot and hopefully catch another Spanish mackerel in New Jersey so I could really do the test because I think it can come out good. Amara thought it was good. Thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this one I'm gonna be on the lookout for another mackerel so I could do a really cool catch and cook back home and I'll see you next time on the line cook.